Welcome everyone. Last weekend I paid a visit to the Bond Emotions exhibition in Brussels and this was just so much fun. The exhibition is described as the official exhibition of iconic Bond vehicles, including those used by 007 and his many allies and adversaries, and it made its appearance in Brussels in celebration of the 60 year anniversary of the James Bond franchise. Now obviously the 60 year anniversary was last year, but this exhibition is still there to see this year as well up until May. So this was definitely on my wish list. So I grabbed my girlfriend, I grabbed my car and we went over for a weekend in Brussels. And to make it even more unique, we spent the weekend there also with uh, a now close friend who started out as my Patreon supporter, Philip, who you may or may not have already seen me meeting on the bridge in that vlog for the Shaken Not Stirred event last October, but since then have become close friends. And it's so cool how a friendship developed from Patreon essentially. He was a supporter, I was a content creator, but now we look at each other as uh, close friends able to spend the whole weekend together uh, and have nothing but laughs and uh, experience this together. So I think it's really cool how the Bond community can do that for you and develop this friendship. Now, just like that Shake and Not Stirred video, I'm not much of a vlogger. My channel is obviously, you know, centered around voiced material. And if you ever see me on camera, it's mostly for the movie reactions. But I did try and attempt to just film a little bit and make a little bit of an amateuristic compilation just to give you guys an idea of what the uh, exhibition is like. So without any further ado, this is a quick look at the Bond Emotion exhibition in Brussels and I hope you enjoy. Welcome everyone, we are here at Bond Emotion. Lyrid is here Hi. and my good friend Philip and we're gonna go uh, see what's inside here. Hello. Oh yeah. So as you enter the first area of the exhibition, here's the little Nelly. You only live twice in all its glory. Uh, various models used in the Bond movies over there. Um, the helicopter from The World Is Not Enough. Here is the one in For Your Eyes Only, uh, also used for model work as well. A miniature of uh, Sokovsky's Caviar Factory, also the world is not enough. Very cool. Zorin Industries, of course, you don't need to explain that one. And various other uh, helicopters and planes, that one is from Goldeneye. So there's more than just cars in this exhibition. You'll find various mannequins, miniatures, model work, uh, the hovercraft from Die Another Day, the Q balloon, great stuff. Look, the Acro Star with the Dutch flag on it. <laughs> I always like to say that. Now, you won't realize it, but even in Casino Royale, there's a lot of model work. Uh, including the plane here, another hovercraft from Die Another Day. Again, the Acro Star in all its glory. Never seen anything like that in real life before. So even before reaching the cars, already you're kind of mesmerized by all these props and models. And look at this, the helicopter that crashed on the bridge at the climax of Spectre, uh, including the lights of the destruction. That's cool. This one is from No Time To Die, of course. Very new. And this must be the one that Bond and Jinx flew on in Die Another Day. I assume so, at least. Moonraker model. Even the tiny rocket from You Only Live Twice can be seen in full human scale. As you enter the second area the Q boat is here but you can also find Zhao's car from Die Another Day actually the first car you'll probably run into and this is a beauty in real life look at all the props that are attached to it so much work went into it you would almost start to appreciate Die Another Day on a whole other level actually Gustav Graves' speeder including the miniature form and 
this miniature model. But now we reach the area you want to reach at this exhibition. The Bond cars. A lot of cars here you would never see driving around in real life. At least not often in my book. And of course they happen to have um, miniature models included from them as well. Uh, this miniature model from the Lotus was used in The Spy Who Loved Me for the aerial shots I believe. Some of the cars from Dine Are Day here. The world is not enough BMW. And No Time To Die's Toyota Land Cruiser. Probably you could consider this the main course of the uh, event. The DB5 spinning around from No Time To Die. How awesome is this? Making the donut just like in the movie. One of the highlights of that film to me. So many Bond cars around here. It's a huge area. Sikovsky's uh, Rolls Royce. If you're disappointed that the DB5 shows up in its damaged form, you can always find the one in pristine order from Goldfinger at the end of the exhibition and take your picture with that one. Another favorite, the V8, which is stationed next to this pipeline from the Living Daylights and uh, the Lotus we just saw. Again, seeing these cars in real life is just something else. Even the Rolls Royce of Svakoski is cool. It isn't just the uh, V8 from No Time To Die, but of course the Living Daylights one, including the skis. Stations next to uh, David Soritsky's car over there. Really modest that he landed to the exhibition here. Definitely one of the best modern looking Aston Martins. The DB10 from Spectre. And I love the black blinded windows they use. What a badass car this is. There doesn't seem to be anything in the front of course. There's no hood. The engine obviously is in the back. <laughs> Would look good on your porch, right, Philip? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen my car yet. It's also in Quantum of Solace. <laughs> Maybe there. I don't think it's, it's special. Kind of it's fair. not special enough to be Good. placed Good to see there. Yeah. <laughs> and also. The Wei Lin bike. Oh, yeah. Where's the, that one? Mm -hmm. Oh, where you reenacted that scene. Yeah, with the handcuffs. And he doesn't even drive it himself. No, Nomi drives this one. You remember this one from Skyfall when he was attacking the house? Boom, 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 boom. Gonna shoot you right up. All I wanted was a sweet extraction through an to The train rack from Skyfall. Pretty cool. Was not expecting to see something like that in here. And as we reach the end of the tour, Mr. Hinks's Jaguar, as seen in Spectre in Rome, we reach a 007 bar. All the movie posters, definitely the place I'd hang out in every weekend.
So that was my quick look at the Bond Emotion exhibition. Please remember this exhibition is still out there until May. So if this video inspired you to go see all of these cars and vehicles, then please do because this will only be around for a couple more months and it's totally worth it. And not only for the vehicles and all the props that you get to see, but there's also a 007 gift shop at the end of the exhibition that sell 007 items ranging from the official brochure of this exhibition that I just showed you in the beginning of this video, or um, the 007 cards to a Monopoly game, the little 007 model cars to a lunchbox, even a doormat, which is actually something I got. <laughs> And as I was about to leave, I actually ran into someone that recognized me, which still is totally surreal to me. Uh, I was recognized by Ewan from uh, Planet007, the French YouTube channel for uh, Bond-related content. Um, and we took a picture together and it's so cool to meet other Bond people and again this is what the Bond community can do for you. So another great experience. I was happy to meet you even if you see this video and uh, I hope everyone else really enjoyed watching this video and it inspired you to go check out this little exhibition in Brussels yourself. Thanks a lot for watching. I will return for the regular content again next time. I hope you enjoyed.